Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a little bit of a shift in course for the videos scheduled here on the channel. Now, normally when Apple releases a new beta, today we were going to be talking about iOS 13 developer beta five, my long-term follow-up video. If you follow me here on the channel, every time Apple releases a new beta, I have three videos. I have the first impressions with new features and changes. I have a follow-up with additional new features and changes within the software. And then a few days later, three to four days down the road, I give you guys my final follow-up for the beta where I talk about the performance, battery and everything else any additional new bugs and problems within the software but today instead of having that video i have a different shift in the course of the videos as i mentioned because something interesting did happen over the past 24 hours of testing the software again this is ios 13 developer beta 5. so the devices that i'm currently testing is the iphone se the iphone 8 the iphone 10r and the iphone 10s max that's why i usually take about five to six days to give you my long-term follow-up because there's a lot of testing going on here with these devices and what i do usually is I update the devices, I fully charge the batteries, and then I use each device per day to kind of get a feel of the software and things that are happening to give you guys more details of what's happening with the software and the battery on the iPhones. Well, what happened last night is I put the iPhone 8, my iPhone 8 to charge on the wireless charging mat as you see right there. And uh, when I woke up this morning, this is what happened. You see there that the actual display just detached from the actual phone now what happened was that the iphone uh, i'm assuming that the iphone's battery uh inflated right so uh, something went wrong there and it kind of just popped the screen out and it's bent so i'm thinking heat was a factor here because if it was not bent if it was just a popping of the display i can push it back in but as you see here i cannot push the screen back in there's an actual uh, bend on the glass so heat was definitely a factor here. Now this is a brand new iPhone 8 that I bought specifically for the channel to review software for you guys. Now I'm in talks with Apple right now to try to figure out why something like this would happen. Now it is beta software. I'm not sure if this is software related or hardware related. I'll have a follow up video on this information in the next couple of days. But the wireless charger that I was using is Qi compatible. It is certified and the iPhone itself is brand new. So this is a brand new device as you see here. It's barely scratched. It's just a brand new device. And I left it overnight charging just to get the battery to charge 100% so the very next day I can test the iPhone 8 but then I came across this issue here again I'm in talks with Apple now one thing that I do want to mention this is a brand new device so the battery health was actually at its peak performance it was at a hundred percent and this still occur again heat was definitely a factor here I cannot press the screen back in as you see there try to press it back in it pops back out so the actual glass was bent through this process. So let's see what Apple says. I will continue testing the software. This one is out of the game for now. I will continue testing these three. Expect my follow up video hopefully tomorrow on these products that you see here the iPhone 10 10R, 10S, and the iPhone SE. Just a quick follow up for you guys. I just wanted to share that information with you guys. Do not leave your iPhone on a wireless charger or charging overnight as of yet if you're using iOS 13 beta 5. Just keep that in mind. This has happened to me. I'm not sure again if this is software or hardware related. Once I get more information from Apple, I'll follow up with you guys and let you guys know exactly what happened. So just a quick update video. I hope you guys found this information helpful and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.